Okay, so today I'm going to talk about Octopus Saving Sessions and how to manage those in PrevBat. So Octopus Saving Sessions are where there's a particular time period uh, where they want you to cut back on your energy usage and in return they'll pay you some Octa points that turn into money off your bill. So these can come along with 24 hours notice or, or even less notice and at the moment there isn't an API that automatically feeds those directly through into the energy rate so you are going to have to add these manually to prep that and then it can take care of it so one thing to note this year the saving sessions from what i understand there will be no in-day adjustment so there's no need to do a preheat period where you charge or use lots of energy beforehand that's it's just going to be based on the amount of energy you cut down on but more crucially also the amount you export will be counted towards that so what you want to do is decrease your imports and increase your exports which essentially means force discharging the battery so what i've done is i've gone and entered a fake saving session today between 4 and 5 pm and i flagged it as about one pound per kilowatt hour and you can see this exports now planned for that period and you can see that robots now going to try and hold the battery beforehand to make sure i have enough battery for the export so yeah this is going to cost me 30p a unit and i'm going to gain one pound a unit so it's it's profitable overall obviously if i'd known about this session earlier there might have been some other options to deal with it um maybe i could have um you know if i had more battery capacity i could charge it more overnight in my case it was charged fully anyway so there's not a lot i can do about that um so you can see on the energy rates chart i've got one pound export and one pound import showing up on the chart and if I look at the discharge plan, you can just double check the times on it. You can see that it's discharging between four o'clock and five o'clock. So that's all good. So how did I set that up? There's a few things you need to do. First, in your settings, you just need to make sure that combined charge slots is off. Because if that's on, you're going to get one big slot for the day rate before the 4 p.m. And won't be able to optimize it very well you need them split up into 30 minute slots um, i've also got the low rate and high rate threshold set to zero which means automatic so that probably can figure out the fact that now the 30p rate is actually worth considering whereas before it wouldn't have been because it would only be considering my low rate which is seven and a half p um, and then the other thing i do is in my case i have 48 charge discharge windows set um, depending on what it is there might not be enough if you're trying to break up a whole day's worth of high rates into windows each one's half an hour so uh, you, you may need more than the default 32 to make this work properly um, obviously if you're in um, something like agile then um, it may be less of an issue um, but yeah it's important to check that's okay um, I've also turned on this new feature, which is going in the next release called set charge freeze, which is just a case of where the battery doesn't discharge anymore. So it's like charging, but holding the current level. I don't think it makes much difference for this particular case. Um, and I'm using read only mode simply because there isn't really a saving session today. I'm just testing it out. So with that said, um, if you look at, if we go into the file editor, I can show you what I actually put in the configuration file. So here we go, we've got rates import override and rates export override. And I've put in today's date, I put the start and end time 4 to 5 p.m. and I've put the rate as one pound for both import and export. So you need to calculate this rate based on how many octa points they're giving you per kilowatt hour saving and what those are worth in pence. And then you can work out the pounds, the pence per kilowatt hour. Um, and that will, um, it will tell Probat exactly what it, whether it's worth playing the game and depending on your losses and how much battery you've got and what the other rates are, etc. Uh, and that's it, really. So um, that appears to be working and you don't need to do any special automations. You just need to configure the rates. After the time's done, etc., you can delete those rates from the config file or you can just leave them for history. Um, some people have also linked those rates into sensors. You can create some input um custom input sensors in um, home assistant link them through there and then you can actually control it on the, the dashboard if you want but um i personally don't do that i'm just going to type into the config file because it's just as easy well good luck with the saving sessions hope you make some money on it thanks then bye